Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado, an authorized retail location in Lone Tree, Colorado. And today with DaVinci Resolve 14, I'm going to show you how to do dynamic zoom. Now, it's a way of zooming in in post-production, which can help you redo your framing or give you some extra effect. Now, I generally want to do this when I've shot in 4K, but I'm editing in a 1080 timeline. That way I can crop 200% without losing any image quality. So that's a big advantage of shooting in 4K and editing in 1080 is being able to zoom in. Now, what we're gonna do is kind of take this a little further than just a simple zoom, and we're gonna do what's called a, a dolly zoom, which has been used in films like uh, Jaws and uh, many other films that have this really dynamic zooming effect while the camera's pulling back uh, can really be a little disorienting, but when used properly, it's, it's a pretty cool effect. So here we go. This is the original footage here. You can just see it's a straight pull away shot. Nothing, nothing too fancy there. I'll just, I'll, I'll play it again for you. Just a clean pull away shot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on dynamic zoom. So I gotta make sure that my clip is selected here and I go to the inspector and I'm gonna turn on dynamic zoom and then under this pull down menu here I'm going to select dynamic zoom so now we have two boxes here a green box and a red box the green is where it's going to zoom to and the red is where it's zooming from so if I left it like this it would zoom closer or it would zoom out so what I want to do is I'm actually going to reverse these so I'm going to zoom in on myself there and then open up this outside area to be full screen. And now when I play this, we're gonna get a pretty interesting effect. So you see it's not pulling away so fast, but because the angle is changing, it, it looks really trippy because the sky is going back while the zoom is happening and it creates kind of a a trippy effect there. I'm going to play it again. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And I'm going to turn off dynamic zoom on the first one. And now we can kind of see the difference between the two. There's the straight pull away shot followed by the pull away with the zooming in which gives a pretty weird look. But you can use that dynamic zoom for a number of different types of effects uh, besides a dolly zoom like this. Uh, really good for close, uh, doing a, a, a pull in on a photo for example and making it look a little more dynamic than just a static photo. Do a zoom in or a zoom out with it. So that's Dynamic Zoom in DaVinci Resolve 14. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.